Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies. You know that this literally does not work. All right, so we are 14 days, 9 hours, 11 minutes, and 40 seconds away from the Cowboys kicking off the season opener against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, we know that the Cowboys have been having some issues, of course, with COVID right now. Uh, Baltimore had their you know, issues about a month ago, you know, Lamar Jackson was out as well as some other players. And, you know, they finally got a handle on that. Washington, during their training camp about three weeks ago, they had it going through their facilities and things and had some players that were out. And now the Cowboys, we had a couple more yesterday that are on the COVID list. Well, should, should be able to get them back. You know, it's anywhere from five to 10 days as well as Dan Quinn. And hopefully that's the end of it. We don't know. We'll have to wait till Mike McCarthy's press conference to see if um, we have more cases or not. But the Titans, they had a case yesterday, and now today they're announcing just a few minutes ago that Ryan Tannehill is now on the COVID list, that he's tested positive as well, in which case he'll be out for five to ten days. I guess one way to look at this would be is you're better off if you are... Since I started to do this, oh, I've lost 70 pounds you're better off if you end up testing positive now um, because you've got some time to recover because it is 14 days for the Cowboys. Other teams, it's 17 days. So with Brian Tannehill, it's not a big worry that he can be back 5 to 10 days provided there's no complications. But here's where you start looking at this. If you have a COVID attack during the season, and think about this, we have more players now on the COVID list this year, right now, than we did have all of last year. If that happens during the season, that could be, you know, it can, it can be bad because unlike what they did last year, you'll remember, the NFL said, you know what, don't mess with my money. Do not mess with our money because if your team can't play, guess what? You guys are going to pay for everybody else. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's on you to make sure your team is ready to play come hell or high water. And this is where, with the Cowboys, I think the Cowboys are about 92% vaccinated. I think it's one or two players that haven't had their second shot yet, but they will in the next week or so. Um, the Cowboys, of course, have gotten through that. Now, the thing is, is you can get the shot. Uh, what people seem to think is, if you get the shot, it's kind of like you've got a force field around you, and no matter what you do, you won't test positive. Well, testing positive and having COVID are two different things, and the severity of it is also as well, okay? You can get COVID, even having had the shot, but supposedly you don't get as sick. And there's misconceptions there, and I don't want to get into all the details and everything else because everybody's got a different philosophy. The bottom line is this. If you are an NFL player and you test positive, it doesn't matter what you believe, you're not going to be there with the rest of the players, flat out. And if you're not there with the rest of the players and you're a key player, then it hurts the team. And so this is where Michael Irving was kind of going off on Cowboy players because originally not a lot of them had had the shots. And this is where you understand exactly what he meant is when you don't do everything you can to try and win, chances are you're going to have issues that are going to prevent you from winning. So Ryan Tannehill, uh, we'll see how many of the tech, uh, Titans end up on the list. Um, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping that they kind of get this whole thing under, uh, you know, taken care of and, and it doesn't become a problem for the NFL season. But all of a sudden, lately, it's getting kind of scary here with all the players that are testing positive. Um, I'm curious to see if the NFL starts clamping down on the access and stuff of the players and the facilities. We already know that with the media, they're beginning to limit some of the access to the media as far as the locker rooms go. We know the Cowboys have been doing uh, their interviews with the players where the players are on one side of the fence, the interviewers are on the other. So we'll see if that kind of thing continues to happen uh, throughout the NFL. And so with that being said, we're up to date and more of my face is coming back to life from the Novocaine. Oh, I can kind of start feeling my jaw. Hope you guys have a great day.
and we'll keep you up to date with everything that is the NFL. I'll see you soon.